We have our fire extinguishers on hand. Wow. Here we go. Let's see if Ana can, can do it twice. One. Fight. Robots fight. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, you got to get away from that. Oh, and Nautilus is looking so mobile inside of the boat. Oh, here we go. Good pin from Ana. Pin in a singe. And Annika is absolutely wow! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Wow! It was a coordinated attack from Annika Yankaskis with the minibot, high centering Nautilus. Oh my God! This is coordinated driving. This is aggressive driving, Chris. Oh, <laughs> this I is incredible! You gotta wonder how long those belts can hold up under that. That's just intense heat. Now the weapon on Nautilus is just running and they would love to destroy that mini bot of Dragon Princess. There we go. But Nautilus has has is stuck on its back. This is incredible. Its mini bot is wedged. It's it's wedged Nautilus between a rock and a hard place. Incredible. As a control bot, you are seeing control. And we are not afraid at all of just scorching the Lexan on the big box. Wow. Chris, we can afford it. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anika Yakaskis has successfully pushed Nautilus up on its head. And then what is, what is that? What, what is this? That is one of the tires oh, on the back wow. of Anika's robot. Wow. A big flip in the air. Nautilus is showing that it, this is not a one-sided match. Annika is now on her head. You, you can see that because she's got a, a unhappy face on the bottom of her robot. Oh! Oh, is Dragon Princess running out of gas? With 50 seconds left in this match. Incredible, incredible. Nautilus has pushed Dragon Princess into the corner. Her, her wheels are mangled. She cannot get out of the corner. The minibot is dead. Ugh. The flamethrower is going out. We're out of gas. Someone needs to go on a Taco Bell run now. <laughs> 25 seconds left. Oh, I love this match, Chris. That fork is just high centering it on one side. Oh, there we go. We're free. Maybe we'll get a couple more hits. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh. three, two, one. That's the match. Wow. It went full three minutes. Huge round of applause from the crowd who loves that robot dragon princess. Incredible. This is going to go to the judges. We saw three minutes of wow. carnage. We saw three minutes of melted, uh, plastic melted stuff. We saw wheels ripped off. We saw sawdust everywhere. My favorite match of the day, hands down. That was incredible. All right, Andrew, your thoughts on this fight. Nautilus versus Dragon Princess. Uh, in that last match, Don uh, made a precedent that we can defer our vote. So yes. I'm gonna use my one time here and I'm gonna defer to someone else to start out. That was a tough one. All right, that's good. Keep thinking about it. Don, your thoughts on this fight? Uh, yeah, I start out in uh, Dragon Princess's favor. Um, definitely got a good pin and was able to use the flamethrower. Not sure if the flamethrower caused their one side of the shuffle to go down, but damage nonetheless. And then whenever Nautilus was able to get self-righted, it pretty much Hate Dragon Princess up. Uh, it seemed more in control. Uh, Nautilus brought Dragon Princess to the corner and pretty much controlled the fight there until the match ended. So based on that, I'm going Nautilus. All right. We've got uh, one vote for Nautilus. Jack, your thoughts on this fight? I am also going to go with Nautilus. 
based on the damage it did to Dragon Princess and the fact that near the end of the fight it seemed like Dragon Princess was really struggling to even drive forward because of how mangled the forks were and to me that means it did more lasting damage to Dragon Princess seeing as Nautilus could still translate around the arena and make engagements effectively. We've got two so votes for Nautilus. For and uh, Andrew, your thoughts? Is this going to be unanimous? It, it's going to be unanimous, but it was really close. Yeah. Um, I think you can. This is a coin toss kind of match. Um, I think control was pretty back and forth. Um, but I think Jack's got the right idea with that lasting, uh, lasting damage with those forks. The uh, Dragon Princess couldn't really move either direction, uh, with the wheels being as mangled as they were as well while Nautilus was down that drive side for a lot of the fight. So we'll go Nautilus, but it was really close. All right, we've got a unanimous judges decision for Nautilus. Thank you very much, judges. All right, we're gonna go back into the instant replay. This was a match that was so good that I wanna watch it twice. Here it, we go. Instant re flame. I wanna get this match tattooed on me. <laughs> yes. This was awesome. This is what you come here for. This is absolutely what you come here for. And uh, I, I just love the, uh, the the strength and like kind of the the, the length of, of the flamethrower on Dragon Princess. Uh, they were able to really dominate this first part of this match, working really well with their mini bot, and um, and and just you know uh, what one of the challenges with Nautilus is just that it is a forty pound robot. Yeah. Yeah. Those extra, those extra ten pounds, and especially when you put all of that weapon, like all of that weight, into your weapon.